right guys, uh, welcome to episode 16 of the Clean Bulk Series and today I'm going to be taking you through a full day of eating. Um, I just woke up uh, so I'm definitely going to be uh, I'm definitely starving. Um, so it's uh, breakfast time for me. Normally what I like to do is I like to put on the coffee right away. Um, the coffee that I use is this Kirkland, um, it's like a dark roast. Uh, it tastes really really good. It's for, uh, for a store bought, store bought coffee, I actually really like it. Um, I've tried them at cafes and I've tried uh, the Starbucks ones. Um, I just didn't really find that they had the same taste as this one. So I definitely recommend this. This is a Costco brand, Kirkland. Um, so that's the first thing I do is put on the coffee. Um, it kind of takes about 10 minutes, five, 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 10 minutes to make the coffee. Uh, so by the time my breakfast is ready, it's kind of like perfect timing. Um, yeah, so what I normally do is I start off with breakfast. Um, I'm gonna spray this pan here with some olive oil. Uh, it's just some um, healthier kind of spray, I guess you'd say. Um, I find it doesn't really give too bad of a taste. Uh, to your food, um, so I've been using it. And then what I like to do is just put a little bit of water in the pan. So what we're going to be making is we're going to be making uh, I'm going to be combining oatmeal with egg whites uh, and eggs. I don't know what you exactly call it, um, but it's really, really good. Um, I find it gives it a good texture. Um, it gets your uh, fiber in, it gets your carbs in, um, it gets your protein in. Uh, the only thing I'm really missing is like a healthy fat. Um, but honestly, this is a pretty balanced breakfast and I really like the uh, taste of it. Uh, I've been eating this now for probably, for a while, uh, for definitely maybe five or six months. Um, I've been eating this, so it's, it's been going good with this, this type of breakfast. I've been staying consistent. I think the biggest thing is just to find something consistent um, that you're able to stick to, especially with breakfast, because uh, some people won't be waking up and they're in a rush in the morning and they don't have time to uh, eat breakfast. So I definitely find something that you uh, enjoy um, and that will make you kind of more, uh, more likely to actually eat breakfast. Um, yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a measuring cup. Uh, I like using a measuring cup versus a scale. Um, just for breakfast, uh, I would probably use the scale for the rest of the day, uh, but the final measuring cup is just uh, works just as fine. So what I do is I just take some oats. These are the Quaker oats that you buy at, um, I'll actually show you them in a second. So these are the Quaker Quick Oats here. Um, I just bought these at Costco, they were a good price, um, and they taste good, and they make um, a good goulash with the egg whites. Um, so yeah, and about, I'll put the macros in, but normally what I do is I do one cup. Um, so that's normally about 300 calories, um, which is quite a bit, but I mean, I find I, I like to have a big breakfast to get me through till, uh, till like a lunch or like a supper meal. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what, normally what I do. Um, but yeah, so I take my oats, so that way I have one cup. And like I said, I'll put the macros um, there for you so you're able to see exactly. So there's about one cup. I just pour that in to the water. I have the heat on about, just about almost medium. Um, I don't turn it up too high, I don't want it to burn. Um, but I turn it up enough that it's able to cook it uh, fast enough. Um, so I think I have it on four right here. Um, it's just kind of just below the medium setting. So I mean, find, find a temperature just below your medium, medium setting and give that a try, uh, and maybe adjust it from there. So the next thing I want to do is I want to take out my egg whites. Once again, Costco. Um, I love shopping at Costco. Um, we're probably about four or five minutes away, so every time I go, I do a, a big grocery haul. Maybe I'll film one of those in the future, if you like that. If you want to see that kind of video, just definitely uh, show it in the comments there and let me know if you'd like to see a Costco run. Um, but yeah, so this is the egg whites from Costco. Um, what I do with this is I put half a cup of egg whites. So there's half a cup. And eggs from Costco as well. <laughs> uh, these are cheap and they're uh, about 18 of them, so that's a good, so it gets me by, I use two eggs a day. Um, so yeah, I go through quite a bit of eggs. So I take two eggs. So two eggs, half a cup of egg whites. And 
And then what I like to do is I just like to mix it up to break the yolks. And then once the yolks are break or broken, I just kind of pour it in. And then I just kind of give it a, a quick little mix, just to mix up the uh, the different textures, the oatmeal with the water, with the uh, egg whites and the eggs. So there you have it, there's the egg white oatmeal creation. Um, I'm yet to give it a name. Um, if you think of any interesting names, definitely put them in the comments. I'd like to hear what you have to think or what you'd have to say. Um, but yeah, with this, uh, I'm just gonna kind of give this about um, a couple minutes to cook. Um, what you want to do when you're cooking it is just to kind of stir it. You want you definitely want to tend to it, um, because if not, it will kind of get uh, not clumpy on you, but it will kind of get it's better if you just kind of tend to it and stir it um, as you go. Um, but yeah, so what I'll do is um, I'll check in with you when it is almost cooked and I'll show you what I add to it uh, to make it really taste good. Um, yeah, so I'll check in with you then. All right, guys, so that was probably about three or four minutes. Um, it's no longer uh, like liquidy, um, so everything's kind of like mixed in nicely. Um, the oatmeal is starting to uh, dry up, which is kind of what you're looking for with this. Um, yeah, so I probably gave it probably about, like I said, three or four minutes um, for that to happen. Um, and I've been just kind of stirring it. I've switched the spatula. Um, I always do that. I find that it's nicer to use and it's easier on the pan. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do now is I am going to put in, first I'm going to put in some golden yellow brown sugar. Um, this stuff makes it really crisp up and it really tastes good. Um, and it's actually like not that bad. It's like one tablespoon has got 15 calories. So I normally just kind of eyeball it. Um, it's probably around 70 calories uh, that I actually do use. Um, so yeah, I'll probably just put a little, put a sprinkle of brown sugar in. I think the biggest thing is just to be consistent with what you're doing. Um, I've been doing this for like six months. Um, so I find that it hasn't changed in my diet. So my weight doesn't uh, reflect that. It's been consistent ever since uh, in terms of my breakfast and what I'm eating. So that's what, like, going back to what I said uh, again, about finding what works for you, sticking to a breakfast that really works for you, and obviously changing it up too. I know what I can understand that people will get sick of the same thing, um, but for me, I can probably eat the same thing most of the time. Um, just change up the different ingredients that I use in it. It's basically been oatmeal and egg whites um, for a while now. Um, and the next ingredient here is ground cinnamon. Um, once again, this goes good with the brown sugar, so I just like to sprinkle. I actually use a lot of uh, cinnamon, but I like the, I like the, uh, the taste that it gives. So, and basically, what I do there is I just mix it in and let it like melt into it. And it's starting to smell delicious because uh, all that cinnamon and brown sugar really, really like caramelizing. I guess you'd say. Uh, in with the oatmeal and the eggs. So yeah, macros will be included for uh, every meal. Um, just to make it easier for you guys so you can track them. Um, I definitely recommend giving this a try if you haven't. Um, you can eat it on its own as well too. You can cook up your eggs. Um, like okay, egg whites in your eggs and then have your oatmeal on the side uh, with some like fruit or whatever you want to do. Uh, but I find that this just is an easy way to kind of get everything all at once. Uh, it actually tastes really good. Um, yeah. And it keeps me full too, which is what you want for a breakfast. Um, you want it to be able to do you long enough to get to your next meal um, without having you kind of snack and snack and snack. Um, so yeah, sometimes what I'll do is I'll even head to the gym uh, about an hour after, like an hour or two, an hour and a half after eating this. Um, and I find it does me. Uh, right until I uh, get home so I'm able to grab another meal. Um, but other times if I wait too long to go to the gym, if it's been like three hours since I ate breakfast or four hours, I'll probably eat another meal or eat something quick before I go to the gym. Um, just to kind of make sure that my, uh, I have those carbs and protein uh, in me to be able to fuel the workout and to be able to uh, make the workout a little bit better. Um, but yeah, I find, just like I said, this does me. 
So yeah, that's pretty much done. I'll plate it and then I'll show you the final product and show you what it looks like. Um, if you follow me in my other past YouTube videos, you've probably already seen this, um, but here it is again. Uh, what I also like to do is I like to make my protein shake uh, in the blender here. So after I'm done showing you this, um, I will show you how I make the protein shake um, as well. So yeah, stay tuned for that. I'll make it directly after I make this. Um, yeah, so this is pretty much done. So I'm gonna turn the burner off and I'll, uh, I'll show you the finished product. All right guys, so there's the finished product there. You can see it's really, really hot, um, but yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> I just love the taste of it, personally. I've got so used to it that uh, I really enjoy it. And there's the coffee over there. I just take my, uh, I just take my coffee black. Um, yeah, so there you go. There is my breakfast. Meal number one, uh, macros will be included. All right, guys, so I just finished my breakfast there. Uh, I'm on closer to 3,000 calories now. I was around the 22 to 2,500 uh, range, uh, but my coach, Derek, upped it. Um, to closer to 3,000. So yeah, but I've also um, I've also had increased cardio. I'm to about 40 minutes a day of cardio now. Um, I like to eat, so it works out well. Um, so I'm, I want to be doing that for the next little bit to see how my body responds. Um, but I'm definitely loving the 3,000 calories, that's for sure. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna take you through my protein shake now. Um, so the ingredients are, I started off with a kiwi. Um, I'm a big fan of uh, the kiwi. I found out from Jeff Nippard. I've um, just been watching a lot of his channel and uh, I actually liked the kiwi before and I just never eat a lot of it so now I've been incorporating it uh, in my diet because of its many, many benefits. If you haven't checked out my fitness facts, uh, I did a write up blog on the kiwi. It was actually the first fitness facts topic that I did um, and you can uh, read that on my website miraculousfitness.ca um, under the fitness facts tab. So check out all the benefits that the kiwi has um, if you're new to my channel and maybe haven't seen that yet. Um, but yeah, so I start off with the kiwi. What I like to do... This is probably the uh, hardest part, is just kind of taking the skin off. What I like to do is I like to cut it at the top. And I cut it at the bottom. And then I just kind of slice it, slice the skin off it with the knife. As best as you can without taking a lot of the kiwi. Okay, there you go. So even having a little bit of the skin on is still fine. Uh, the skin is edible, it actually is really nutritious. Uh, most people eat it with the skin on, and other people don't. Uh, prefer preferably, I don't like the skin, but if it's a little bit in the blender, that's all right. So what I do now is just slice it, and then just throw it into the blender. And then a banana for my carbs directly after my workout. This is a great carb source uh, after you're finished working out. Uh, plus, I like it, the taste of it in a, in a shake or a smoothie. Um, so I always go to the banana and I always go to the kiwi um, for my fruits. So there's the banana. Next, what I do is I take unsweetened almond milk. Um, yeah, you've probably seen this in my prior video, but basically I like the... Uh, the, Kirk, or the Kirkland brand, um, it's very little calories, which I like. Um, so I do a cup of uh, almond milk, unsweetened almond milk. So there's a cup. Check that in. And then next, I put the protein powder. Um, so I'm using Beyond Whey. I like vanilla. I've been sticking with vanilla now. I haven't really been buying any flavors. Um, if I were to buy a flavor, it might be chocolate, but I find that vanilla just kind of goes uh, best with the kind of smoothies that I like. Um, but I mean, this could work with whatever of your favorite protein powder, as long as it went with the banana and the kiwi. Um, but yeah, so I use a vanilla. So I just use one scoop. And then I put my creatine. In there as well, this is just the uh, Muscle Tech creatine. Uh, this is actually monohydrate, I do believe. Yes. And then just put one scoop of creatine in there. And the next supplement I use is glutamine. I find it helps with recovery. Um, for me, that's why I use it. Throw that in there. And then that's the shape there. And then blend her up. Alright, so there you have it. There's 
the shake. As you can see, it is kind of a thicker uh, texture. I like that though. Um, I don't even put it in a, a protein thing. Uh, protein cup, I just find that, uh, like a shaker bottle, I just find that I just leave it in this. The less dishes that I have to do, the better. Uh, I don't have a dishwasher. Um, so I spent a lot of my time doing dishes with all the meals that I, I cook and ache and stuff. And uh, so yeah, the less dishes, the better in my opinion. So I literally just take this and I just chuck it in the fridge. Um, and then when I come home, um, yeah, I get into it. So that's gonna be uh, both my breakfast, my meal number one, and then this is my uh, post-workout shake that I have. Uh, and then I'll show you uh, my lunch. Sometimes I have lunch, sometimes I have lunch and supper, it all depends. Um, today I think I'll just be having like a, a lunch or a supper meal, like probably just one or the other, um, because I, I like to snack in the evening, so I like to save my, uh, my calories for later in the evening, so I'll show you that. Um, yeah, so stay tuned for the next meal. Um, it'll probably be like a dinner style meal. Um, so yeah, I'll show you that. All right guys, so there's some spooky thunder and lightning going on right now. Um, <laughs> I just figured I'd take the time to uh, videotape it here for a second just to kind of show you. Oh, you seen a flash there. And then you hear it right there. <laughs> So yeah, it's raining pretty hard today. Ooh. All right guys, uh, I'm back in the kitchen after that onslaught of uh, thunder and lightning. Uh, it was really, really raining out there as well. Um, I had to close the windows, which kind of sucks because it's really humid in here. Um, but the rain was coming in, so I had to shut it. Um, yeah, today I'm gonna be going to uh, Good Life, actually. I wanna film some content for my fitness facts. I have that coming out on uh, on Monday, so I'm gonna get some uh, content for that. Um, but yeah, I'll be heading there to do back and biceps. Um, so you're gonna see that footage uh, of my workout. Um, but yeah, just heading to the gym, so I figured I'd show you my uh, supplements and how I, uh, what I take and what I, how I mix it and stuff. So basically, I just, uh, what I'm using right now is I'm using BCAAs. Um, this is actually mutant mass. I find that it's uh, a good quantity that you get. I get it at Popeyes. Um, I just find that you're able to buy it in bulk. Uh, it lasts quite a bit. Um, and I didn't really get sick of this flavor. Uh, normally I do, but it's fuzzy peach. Uh, so if you haven't given it a try, I definitely would recommend this fuzzy peach mutant mass BCAAs. Um, they actually taste really good. Um, I like this uh, quantity, like I said before, it's a good price, so I go with it. Um, yeah, normally my workouts can last uh, pretty long and sometimes in between meals, it's good to have a BCAA to kind of keep you uh, anabolic and keep you in protein, to uh, increase protein synthesis. Um, so that's the reason why I take it, plus it tastes good. Um, yeah, and when I'm doing my cardio, it allows me to do uh, it allows me to do my workout, which is anywhere from like an hour to an hour and a half, plus my cardio. And now I'm doing 40 minutes of cardio, um, so I'll, this kind of tides me over, um, keeps me or keeps me uh, anabolic um, while I'm doing my cardio until, like I said, I can get my meal in. Yeah, so I'm going to show you that. So I'm going to mix this up. Four liter waters, uh, they're key. <laughs> um, I mean, I have the bottles here as well, uh, but the four liters, I mean, you can't go wrong with them. Um, it just kind of if you put them next to you, you're bound to drink more water. Um, so I've just been kind of uh, carrying it around a little bit, making sure that I get my water intake, which is also very important to stay hydrated, especially during the summer. Um, I can't stress that enough. Um, a lot of people are definitely uh, dehydrated, me included. Um, and I drink a lot of coffee, so that doesn't help. Uh, but yeah, definitely four liter water is the key. So yeah, I'm just gonna pour it in my shake cup. And take my BCAAs. I just take one scoop. It's a heaping scoop normally. <laughs> um, but yeah, just kind of do one scoop. So there it is, one scoop. This is my intro workout. This is what I take while I'm working out. Um, like I said, for the benefits and the reasons to why I take it is just to uh, increase protein synthesis. Um, and they keep me uh, anabolic until my meal. And then the next one is a pre-workout. Uh, this is Mammoth Pump. Once again, I like this uh, flavor. Um, yeah, it tastes really good. I believe the flavor is, I'm trying to find the flavor. Pineapple mango is the flavor. Um, once again, uh, it tastes really good. I don't uh, take pre-workout. I used to take it all the time with every single workout. 
Um, I've been slowing down in the pre-workout uh, just to kind of conserve and to kind of, um, I don't really feel like I need it every workout. Uh, energy levels are, are different for me. Sometimes I have more energy. Um, it's the afternoon now, so I have a little bit more energy than I would if it was later in the day or I've been doing something during the day that's, uh, if I was out at the beach and I was taking a lot of sun, I might be a little, a little bit more tired. Um, so then I would take a, definitely take a pre-workout. Um, but I'm going to take it today just because I want to be able to get uh, the jitters. I like the jitters that this gives me. Um, and it kind of makes me, uh, it increases my pump as well, which I like. Um, yeah, so I just like to get amped up. So today I'm feeling like I want to get amped up. So it's going to be a pre-workout day. Um, with this, what I normally do is I normally drink a little bit to bring it down to about here. As you can see, it's like right about here now. The reason why I do this is I don't I like to put my pre-workout in a disposable bottle so I can just get rid of it when I'm done. Um, less dishes, like I said. I absolutely hate doing dishes, so the less dishes the better for me. Um, I used to put it in like a little honey uh, shaker cup, I guess you'd say. Uh, those plastic shaker, shaker cups, but I just stopped doing that because um, you have to wash them out. And I end up leaving them in my car and forgetting about them and they end up getting like musty, so I just use a bottle. But uh, here's the, I use a funnel to put it in. Uh, that's another key if you're using these kind of bottles uh, to always have a funnel on you. Um, this one's actually perfect because it's like small and it's able to uh, fit in my pre-workout container. So I'm just gonna take one scoop. Not feeling two scoops today. Just gonna do the one. A little bit funny the way that it goes into the bottle, so you kind of have to mess around with it a little bit, because if not, it will get clogged. Um, probably just haven't cleaned it <laughs> enough. It probably just needs to be cleaned. There you go. So she's all in. So that's the pre-workout there. Give her a shake. And I'll drink that while I'm driving to the gym, um, just to kind of, you know, give me something to sip on as well. And uh, kind of hits me when I get into the gym. Um, so yeah, I like to sip on it. I also, uh, I'm going to show you this fish oil. I take two fish oils. Um, I kind of take them sporadically during the day. Sometimes I'll take both at once. Sometimes I'll take one in the morning. It all depends on when I really, like remember them. Um, but I mean, I've been eating a lot of salmon lately, actually. So I've been getting my fatty fish. Um, but yeah, it's good to take a... It's so gonna take a fish oil supplement. Um, so yeah, I've been using, I've been taking these two. I'm gonna take them right now because if I take one, I'll probably forget to take the other. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna take both of them right now. So there they are. Yeah, so this is my BCAAs. This is my pre-workout. And I just took two fish oils just so I don't forget to take them. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go to the gym. Like I said, it's gonna be good life. I'm gonna film some content. Uh, I'm gonna get my back and bicep workout. Like I said, I also I had to get some footage of my new fitness facts that I'm dropping. I wanna kinda of get some videos and pictures for that. Um, yeah, so I'll be filming my workout. So I hope you enjoy the uh, back and bicep workout. And then after that, um, I'll check in with you and I'll show you my next meal. So I started off with bent over barbell rows. My main focus with this exercise was to create as deep of a stretch as I could because this is what stimulates the back for growth. You also want to think about pulling with your elbows for better back activation. The next exercise was the wide grip lat pull downs. This is a great exercise to include after the barbell bent over rows to further stretch your lats. I'm prioritizing pull down movements over rows because I want to bring up my back width. You want to slightly lean back and again focus on pulling with your elbows to drive the bar down to the top of your chest. If you really want to spice up this exercise, on your last set, perform a drop set of about 50% of the weight that you're using and go until failure. This is sure to leave your lats on fire at the very end. The third exercise was the T-bar row. Similar to the bent over rows, full range of motion is very important. And a trick to increase the stretch placed on your lats is to use smaller plates like 25s instead of 45s. Since I went to a different gym today, I decided to take full advantage of their back machines. With back being a weak point of mine, I decided to include another variation of a pull down. Normally I'm not a big fan of lat pull down machines, but this one actually felt pretty smooth. Um, to improve your mind muscle connection with your back, try using straps when performing your pull downs. I found that this has made a big difference for me with my back development. And hitting your back from every angle possible is the name of the game. Uh, so don't be afraid to change up your routine to help shock your muscles into growth.
The next exercise is by far my favorite. Um, I just love the way that it felt. Low rows are definitely my go-to. Um, and when using the underhand grip, I found that it was a smoother range of motion for targeting my lower lats. Notice how I did this exercise unilaterally. Um, this will even out any strength and physique imbalances that you might have. Um, and this is especially important for me because uh, during my front lat spread, uh, my left lat is actually bigger and it flares more than my right. Um, so bodybuilding is all about proportionate. So take the time to include unilateral exercises in your programs. I started including rear delts in my back days and I find that it's been working out really good. Uh, you want to lower the weight with this exercise to avoid your trap from taking over. Uh, your rear delts are normally able to handle a lot of volume so I like hitting them like three times a week. As you can see I have a slight pause during the contraction. Uh, this is to increase the time under tension and I'm really trying to squeeze my rear delts. This exercise has been a staple in my rear delt training uh, for a while now and I've been definitely noticing fuller looking shoulders from it. So now I'm moving on to the bicep portion of my workout. Um, I normally I'm not a big fan of machines and this one is uh, definitely, I'm definitely not a big fan of this one either. Uh, the only ones that I really use are uh, preacher curls uh, for machines. But the dumbbells have been giving my biceps a funny feeling for some reason lately. So I'm just gonna give them a break. Uh, I'm really trying to improve my bicep peak. So I've been doing a lot of like high cable curls and I find that they've been pretty decent for my biceps. Um, I always like to go light with my bicep exercises so I'm able to feel the full contraction. And the last exercise that I did uh, was the assisted chin-ups. I only did two exercises for biceps uh, today because I did a pretty long back workout and they would have got pre-fatigued from uh, my back training. Um, but this is definitely the most underrated uh, bicep exercise there is. It's definitely should be a staple in your bicep program just because you're able to get the uh, full contraction and you're able to get a full stretch in your biceps. Um, yeah, so if definitely include this one in your programs if you haven't already. All right guys, so I'm back in the kitchen. Uh, I just finished my workout. I hope you enjoyed the uh, workout footage that I provided. Um, it was a great workout, uh, but yeah, now it's time to get something to eat. Um, I just had that uh, protein shake that you see me make there uh, before, or uh, actually after, directly after my workout. Um, so I got that into me. It's probably been about an hour, um, I would say, after I had that. So now I'm going to uh, have some uh, lunch, or not some lunch, but I kind of I kind of mix lunch and supper sometimes just because like I mentioned before, I want to be able to have more calories later in the uh, day because or in the evening because I'm a snacker. Uh, so it works out better that way for me. So what I'm going to be having for dinner tonight is I'm actually going to be having these uh, tilapia fillets. Um, I've been kind of laying off the chicken a little bit. I just find that uh, it's good to change it up every now and then and I kind of got uh, sick of uh, chicken. Um, so I'm just going to be on the white fish, uh, either the tilapia or the salmon, um, I kind of switch it up with that as well. Um, but I want to think I want to get back on the tilapia. Um, it's actually really great macros, uh, which I like about it. Uh, it's got 20 grams of protein uh, and only 100 calories for one piece. Um, so what I'm going to do is I, I've got four pieces of tilapia here. Uh, I'm actually going to cook up uh, four of them, all four of them, but I'm going to save two for tomorrow. So I have something to uh, eat tomorrow since I'm cooking. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be having uh, Two of these now, uh, and one thing I'd like to mention is I'm gonna be eating sushi, actually. Uh, this is just your California rolls uh, that you get at Sobeys. Um, this is gonna fit directly into my macros. Um, it's just carbs, is basically all it is. Um, I was gonna have white rice anyways, jasmine rice, um, but it's just easier to have that as of right now. I don't want it to go bad, um, and it's not that bad for you actually either, so it's a good thing to combine with this uh, fish, so I'm gonna have this calapia along with the uh, California rolls. So I'm gonna get cooking these up. So first of all, I'm gonna turn the burner on. I got the pan already sprayed uh, with that olive oil that you've seen. So I'm gonna chuck these, probably cook two at a time is probably what I'll do. So yeah, I will uh, get back to you. I won't wait you, I won't make you wait while these cook, um, but I'll get back to you when uh, it is cooked. And like I said, I'll put the uh, macros and everything uh, down below. Um, yeah, but it's gonna be tilapia and sushi. All right guys, so there's meal number three uh, after my protein shake, meal one being breakfast, meal two being the uh, protein shake. And then, uh, yeah, this is meal three. This is my dinner uh, slash lunch. Um, there's the two cooked tilapia fillets there that I did. Um, I put this uh, Tex-Mex seasoning on it. I really like this. Uh, I've been kind of into it lately. I switch uh, seasonings quite a bit, which I feel is very important. You don't want to get sick of the same thing. This is key 
<laughs> diet root beer. This is probably the number one pop that actually tastes like the actual pop. That's diet. Uh, so if you haven't given it a try, I'm sure most of you probably have, but this is actually uh, my absolute favorite. I tried the Crush uh, Orange Diet, and it wasn't uh, as good as the actual orange. Um, so I'm back on the Diet Root Beer. And then there's the sushi. Um, yeah. So what I do is I normally just plug these all into my fitness pal. Uh, scanning the sushi, anything that's scannable I plug in. Uh, and it's really easy to track. So I'm going to show you uh, the tracking app that I use is uh, actually Lose It. Um, so I'll put a picture up there for you to see. And uh, yeah, definitely track your calories. It's very important. And I'll include the macros as well. All right, guys, welcome back to the kitchen. Uh, and this is going to be my first snack. So I just finished supper probably about uh, an hour and a half, two hours ago. And I'm kind of hungry again. Um, so yeah, so here I'm going to show you my snack. Um, it's actually Greek yogurt. This is the Kirkland brand once again. Um, I find that it doesn't taste just as good as the, uh, the Walmart version of it. But uh, it does the trick. It's a little bit cheaper, I think. Um, so yeah. The macros on it are pretty good. It's got 18 grams of protein for 175 grams. Um, so what I normally do is I weigh up uh, a cup and a half of it. So that would be uh, 350 grams. So I'm gonna zero my scale out here and I'm going for 350 grams. There's 350 grams there. 351 grams to be exact. And then what I like to do is I like to take these um, little refrigerated jellos. Um, they've only got about 60 calories in them. There's no sugar added. Um, it kind of gives this a little bit more of a, uh, a taste, I find. Um, makes it more enjoyable. And I mean, there's only 60 calories, so it's very macro friendly. Um, once again, I'll put the, the macros uh, in, the, in the bottom here so you're able to uh, see them but uh yeah so i just throw that in there uh and mix it in with the uh the greek yogurt i also uh have a chocolate one of this um it's a, it's the same i think it's 50 calories um and it's no sugar added you want to find the ones that are no sugar added and uh just like very minimal calories because there's quite a bit out there that are about 100 and 125 maybe even 150 calories um i don't get those ones i just get these ones because these are just uh like, like I said, lower in the calories and they fit better in my macros. So, and then the next secret ingredient is just a little bit of honey. Um, I'll probably use, I normally use 20 grams and that's 60 calories. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my uh, thing back on the scale, zero it out, and then just put 20 grams of honey. So there is 22 grams of honey, 23 grams of honey. And then that is the snack there. And then just mix her up. So everything is nice and blended together. And the chocolate just tastes just as good. Um, I prefer this caramel one though. I just find that it uh, tastes better with the honey I find. So yeah, there you go. And then there is my first snack there. 350 grams of Greek yogurt, 20 grams of honey, and then I've got also that refrigerated Jello, which is probably about 60 calories. And uh, yeah, so macros will be included uh, on the bottom for you to see, and I'll, I'll do a running total at the end as well, so you can uh, know how many calories I consumed and what the macros were. All right guys, what's going on? I'm probably gonna be heading to bed within the hour. Um, so yeah, this is my cottage cheese uh, snack that I make before I go to bed. Uh, if you've seen this in my previous video that I already did on the uh, anabolic snack, um, then pretty much it's the same thing. Um, the only thing different is I do different fruit. Um, I think, I don't know if I use this in the other one or not, but this is just like an organic berry burst. Um, it's got strawberries, blackberries, blueberries, and raspberries. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna show you it again um, for those who haven't seen it. Um, yeah, this is really good because it uh, helps keep protein synthesis. It helps keep you uh, anabolic until you wake up in the morning until you're able to get some protein. Um, yeah, plus I find that it's uh, very satiating, so it does me until the morning. Um, so I'm going to show you and I'm going to dive right into it. So the first thing I do is I get the blender on the scale and I zero it out. Uh, I like to start out my fruit. Um, this has so one cup, so 140 grams has got about 70 calories in it. Uh, so I'm going to weigh up, see if there's 140 grams in here.
So 153, that's fine. I'll just adjust it in the uh, calorie app. I just want to use uh, all of it. Um, like I said, I'll put the Lose It uh, app, the picture of it there so you can see it. Um, yeah, I use that. I don't, I've don't. i tried my fitness pal. It's the same thing. They work. They both work the same. Um, I've just been using Lose It for such a long time that I didn't really want to switch over. Um, but yeah, so there's the fruit portion of it. The next thing that I do is I just take a little bit of unsweetened almond milk. Um, I just put a little bit of splash, a splash of that in there. That should probably do. Next thing I do is zero my scale out and I put the honey. So 20 more grams of honey. Um, you've seen this that I put in the Greek yogurt. So it's the same thing. I just like the sweetener and it provides for a nice, uh, also does a nice consistency in the blender as well. It makes it like thick, but it makes it really, really tasty. Um, so yeah, 20 more grams of honey. There's 20, 21 grams there. The next is pineapple. Um, I've explained this in the previous video as well. Uh, bromelain is uh, actually in pineapple. And what bromelain is, it's a d uh, digestive uh, enzyme that helps uh, you uh, digest your protein. So if you're on a high protein body or uh, diet, which most bodybuilders are, um, yeah, it just helps break down the protein. And I find that it gives you less bloating, um, less gas. Uh, and it's also a really tasty thing to put in your any type of uh, snack that you have. So I really like the way that it blends. Um, but yeah, bromelain is the reason why I, I specifically use pineapple. Um, so yeah, definitely give it a try and see if you notice any uh, digestive benefits from it. So what I do is I normally just put a couple, I don't really weigh up the pineapple. So I'll just take a, these are pineapple chunks. Um, doesn't really much matter, you can use frozen pineapple. And you have pineapple, really. And then I like to put a little bit of juice in there as well. So yeah, there you go. And then the next ingredient would be a protein powder. Uh, like I said, this is just a whey protein powder. Um, I like vanilla. I don't really go too crazy with the uh, flavors. I just find that it gives it, it doesn't really mix well with the pro, or pro or the shake or any type of protein shake. So vanilla is always my go-to. I haven't really got sick of it because I put different things in there to change the flavors. But I mean, if you're mixing it with water or something, um, yeah, flavors definitely can matter. So I just put one scoop of protein powder in there. And then now start with the cottage cheese. The reason why I've got two out is because I don't think there's going to be enough in this one. Um, this is just the Costco version of the cottage cheese. It's not made by Costco, I don't think, but I bought it at Costco. Um, it's just 1%, very low fat, uh, high protein. Um, and this is the, has casein in it, which is a slow digesting protein, which is what, the reason why I have the cottage cheese is because it digests slower. Uh, it doesn't get used by your body immediately. Um, so it allows you to um, keep digesting protein, allows you to keep using protein while you sleep with the goal of when you wake up to be able to get more protein into you to make you stay uh, anabolic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weigh up um, 250 grams of cottage cheese, and that is a cup of cottage cheese and for, uh, if you're using a cup. So 250 grams, I gotta zero my scale out again. I'm getting close, 204. 220, so we just, we just don't have enough. So I mean, I have to open up the oven. So this is just uh, different, it actually has lactose free. Um, I don't really know what really the difference is. I haven't really had this one before. I just picked it up because it, uh, it was there. Um, it's got one less gram of protein, 10 more calories. So it's not really that much different. So I need 30 more grams, 257, that's fine. So yeah, there, there's the uh, cottage cheese there. Throw it on the blender. Move some of this stuff over the way. Scale out. And then just blend her up. Should be done now. Uh, that's a consistency I like. I like like a thicker, and I mentioned this in the previous video as well. Uh, I like a thicker consistency. Um, so I guess it depends on how much almond milk you use, and if you use uh, 
All fro- if you would have used frozen pineapple, it would have definitely made it thicker. Uh, but this is thick enough for me. Gives it a nice color too with the uh, berry blend. And the honey makes it uh, nice and sweet, so it's actually tasty. It's got high protein. Yeah, so there you go. It's pretty filled to the brim there. But as you can see, there is the cottage cheese. I call it cottage cheese pudding. Um, but yeah, so that's the last meal of the day. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go and enjoy this. And then I will uh, check in with you later. All right, guys, uh, that does it for the video today. I hope you enjoyed the full day of eating and training uh, and got something from the video. Um, I always try to provide uh, in insights into uh, what I'm doing and just kind of uh, trying to motivate and educate people to uh, during their fitness journey. Um, so that's kind of why I provide the voiceovers. Um, but yeah, I know it was a great workout. Um, sometimes you gotta change it up and just kind of free ball it like I did there. Um, but yeah, overall it was, uh, I got my calories in, so I'm gonna uh, provide the calorie uh, total there at the end as well. Uh, I'm actually just, uh, didn't get a chance to film this uh, yesterday, so I had to uh, film it today when I woke up. I'm just getting ready to uh, head back to Cape Breton to visit my parents and my dog, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, I'll be gone for about a week, um, but yeah, I'm still going to be creating content and still going to be getting content out. So with that being said, um, look out for my fitness facts uh, dropping tomorrow, which is July 29th. Uh, the new podcast as well um, is going to be coming out on August 1st. So that'll be episode three, so look out for that. Um, and also the new YouTube, another video for the Clean Bulk series is going to be coming out on uh, August 4th, which is Sunday. So every week I'm putting out uh, brand new content in terms of fitness facts, podcasts, and uh, YouTube. Um, yeah, so take note of all those dates. Um, please like the video as well. It takes a lot of work to uh, make these videos, and uh, maybe it will expose somebody who is new to the, or might be new to the channel. Um, it might raise awareness and get somebody who is interested in fitness, who likes this kind of content, um, to see the video. And also subscribe if you're new. Um, I would really appreciate you uh, subscribing. I'm trying to get to 200 subscribers. Uh, I think I'm two away right now. Um, yeah, so subscribe. Uh, follow my fitness journey. Like I said, I got a new video uploaded every single week. I'm sticking to a schedule um, so you can uh, expect lots of content. Um, and also hit the bell notification so you get notifications when the videos actually are uploaded because uh, YouTube is kind of funny with that kind of stuff. So make sure you hit the bell to be notified when the video drops. And uh, for those that are interested in coaching, uh, to take their, uh, if you want to take your journey to the next level, uh, make an investment today into your uh, fitness journey. It's well worth it. Uh, I provide customized training, customized nutrition, weekly check-ins. Um, I'm here to be able to keep you accountable and motivate you during your fitness journey while giving you all the tools that you need in order to succeed. Um, yeah, so if you want results, uh, definitely make the investment. Visit my website, Mark Lewis Health and Fitness, uh, to register for the coaching. And uh, that does it for me. I'm going to hit the road and drive back to Cape Breton. So I'll catch you next time. All right, guys. Peace out.